My name is Raymond Kurzweil, and I'm from Queens, New York. That's the famed futurist who predicts that machines will become sentient and smarter than humans in the not-so-distant future. Now, with substantial funding, he's unleashing his AI-powered humanoid robots into the workforce as he expects artificial general intelligence to soon transform everything. The computer scientist's beliefs about robots and the future of humanity are well known. There's not going to be a clear distinction between human and machine. The author of The Singularity is Near believes androids will become indistinguishable from humans by the 2030s. They'll integrate into society as caregivers, co-workers, and companions, and ultimately merge with people through brain-machine interfaces. Uh, by 2029, we'll have reverse-engineered and modeled and simulated all the regions of the brain, and computers at that time will be far more powerful than the human brain. And we'll be able to create machines that really do have the subtlety and suppleness of human intelligence. And they'll combine that power with ways in which machines are already superior to us. In the future, he envisions humans achieve radical life extension or even immortality through nanotechnology, AI-assisted biology, and the eventual merging of minds with machines. He's pushing 80, but aims for immortality through technology. He predicts that by 2045, the world will reach the singularity, the hypothesized tipping point when computers surpass human intelligence, leading to exponential growth that transforms humanity. After talking up robots for more than 40 years, the former Google researcher is introducing his own to the world. With a sizable war chest, he's targeting the industries that could one day unlock the immortality he envisions. His startup Beyond Imagination just secured $100 million in a Series B funding round led solely by Gauntlet Ventures. According to Reuters, the investment elevates the company's valuation to half a billion dollars, positioning it as a significant player in the humanoid robotics industry. It's the same amount that One X Technologies used in 2024 to advance the development and market introduction of its second-generation robot, NEO. Kurzweil and scientist Harry Clore founded Beyond Imagination in Burbank in 2018. They introduced its flagship humanoid robot Beyomni at the 2022 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. The company originally pitched the Beyomni as a robotic avatar with evolving autonomous capabilities. I see that eventually everyone will want to multiply their own body and fold so that they can accomplish a lot more than we can do now with just one body. I see a huge interest emerging quickly in this type of technology. That was from an investor pitch in 2023 when the world was on the verge of an international arms race towards synthetic humans. The Chinese government has since set a goal to mass-produce AI-powered humanoid robots in 2025 and lead the emerging market by 2027. In the U.S., perceived leaders like Tesla, Figure AI, Agility Robotics, and Aptronic have introduced next-generation robots that are starting to enter the real world. For now, Beyond Imagination is targeting high-value industrial sectors that require high precision like pharmaceutical and semiconductor manufacturing. The push comes as the U.S. seeks to aggressively ramp up its production capacity amid trade tensions with the People's Republic. At the same time, the pharmaceutical automation market is set to double, reaching $25 billion by 2031. Today, Insilico is at the forefront of the digital biology revolution. Companies like Insilico Medicine have begun integrating humanoid robots into their AI-driven drug discovery labs to conduct experiments autonomously. For early deployments, Beyond Imagination is targeting high-value roles that require manipulation more than mobility. The robot works 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It also doesn't get on its phone. It doesn't lose its concentration. So it doesn't replace one worker. It replaces at least four to six because it's relentless. It can be mounted on a mobile base or integrated into fixed workstations. 
It's powered by the Biomni AI Brain, a multimodal system that integrates sensory inputs and learning from human interactions. Beyond Imagination is also developing a universal operating system called Aura to facilitate collaboration between humans, robots, and legacy machinery in smart manufacturing facilities. Viamni's height extends to up to 1.8 meters or 6 feet. Each of its arms have 12 degrees of freedom and come equipped with dexterous robotic hands. I saw somebody said your, your uh, success rate in predictions is 86% now. And by 2029, uh, it will match any person. That's just a few years away. We will come to accept entities that are not biological uh, as conscious. Kurzweil has a net worth estimated around $30 million and a track record in business that's widely considered respectable, especially for a technologist and futurist. He founded Kurzweil Computer Products in 1974 to develop the world's first omni-font character recognition software. Its key product, the Kurzweil Reading Machine, helped blind users by converting printed text into spoken words. Xerox acquired the company in 1980. Ray and Stevie's mutual interest in automation evolved into a friendship. It was during one of their casual conversations that Ray was presented with what could become his next technological challenge. Two years later, he founded Kurzweil Music Systems, which developed a synthesizer that could realistically mimic grand pianos and orchestras. Acquired by Young Chang in 1990, the brand remains active and reputable. Another early 80s venture, called Kurzweil Applied Intelligence, pioneered speech recognition systems for business use, especially in the medical and legal fields. It went public but struggled with competition and market maturity and faded from prominence. By the time Learnout and Houseby acquired it in 1997, he had moved on to Kurzweil Educational Systems, which built learning tools for people with disabilities, such as text-to-speech reading software. Cambium Learning Technologies acquired it in 2005, and the products are still used in school today. Beyond Imagination is the futurist first startup launch since Fat Cat, which developed AI-driven stock market prediction algorithms. It does not offer its software to the public. Do you think that anybody in this audience, in their current biological body, will live to be 500 years old? Yes, me? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. And who? I mean as Kurzweil pushes his humanoid robots into the workforce, experiments in digital immortality are advancing. The late Suzanne Summers, who bonded with Kurzweil over their shared interest in futurology, recently returned in the form of an AI robot. The actress and entrepreneur's widower, Alan Hamill, worked with Realbotics to embed her digital twin into a hyper-realistic robot. For more on that, check the related video.